What up? It's J Mac the Fanatic, and I'm back. I'm here to respond to Nostalgia Boy. What up? I'm going to be responding to his challenge to uh, post my top five jerseys. I got good news. When you're my fave five. I think he did his top favorite jerseys, not player. And then I know King Leonidas did his top five. 500 styles. <laughs> uh, just kidding, man. Uh, don't bench press me. <laughs> but no, um, so I'm not going to do any extra jerseys because I'm an indecisive person. So I could go on forever giving a billion um, honorable mentions as well. So, you know, that's just my personality. I'm going to keep it at a straight five. And... Um, I know Leonidas collects uh, only the players he likes. I mostly do that, but sometimes his style is just so fire, so fire. I need to, um, I need to get it. Uh, and you can always customize it. So that's something I've just started doing recently. Not personally doing it myself, but sending it to someone uh, who specializes in do in customs. So without any more uh, bullshit, let's get to the jerseys, all right? We're gonna start with my number five. Um, this jersey is, as you can see, from the Los Angeles Clippers. It is number five, Montrez Harrell, who was the winner of the Sixth Man of the Year Award in this season. This jersey is actually from the bubble. It is game worn, and I do have the... Um, the letter of certification or whatever the fuck you call it authenticity um and here's the sponsor patch that they had at the time bumble <laughs> dating online dating um stitched on nike in the back you've got vapor knit that was the material being used it's a size 50 they call it extra large so a 50 and a 52 are extra large uh, made in Thailand, just like the authentics that we we uh, often see. Um, NBA logo in the back, vapor knit. Everything stitched nicely. You have this patch. I'm not sure. Usually, when they wear that, it symbolizes the death of someone in the organization. So I'm not sure what this represents. Um, actually, we have a nice side trim coming down to the bottom on both sides. And this is actually a plus six jersey, so it's very long. Uh, pro cut, you know, to the style, to the um, specifications, to the length preference of Montrez Harrell. Opens up at the bottom here, as you can see. Um, LA Clippers logo stitched on, and this is rubber, this part here, and this is twill. The white in here is twill, the red is rubber, the blue is rubber. Um, stitched on perforated number five. Let's take a look at the jock tag. Size 50, and here's the um, game issued uh, label right here. Serial number for that. Um, 50 plus six. Here's that... Uh, code or whatever i forgot what it is it says clipper nation it's like a ship code i guess right um because that's after all what a clipper is it was a clipper ship uh used back in the day okay take a look at the back it's gonna say harrow actually it is gonna say harrow but it's actually gonna say how many more and this is really special to me for that reason. This is pretty much the reason why I got it. Not so much because of Harold, but I'm cool with Harold, but uh, I wanted to get one. There were several that I had my eye on and um, how many more, which is one of the phrases that the players got to choose. It's all stitched on. And this is referring to how many more deaths of African-Americans in our country are gonna be killed without any justification and any justice. Um, the NBA logo is rubber. Um, and then we've got Harold at the bottom. 
So this is my number five. It's a hell of a number five. Um, it's the only modern jersey. Uh, this is from the bubble season, 2019-2020 playoffs. Um, and yeah, um, I think it's the playoffs. I have the letter. I would have to look at which game it was from. But um, yeah, guys. It's a hell of a number five. And like I said, it's my only modern jersey. The rest are all from the 90s. So let's go to my number four. At number four, I've got to go with this Milwaukee Bucks. Gamer. Um, I've showed this in at least a couple of my videos, but here it is again. I think I've showed all my jerseys actually, or just about since I did a whole collection video. You've seen just about all my jerseys because I've also done, after that, videos on my newer pickups. So this jersey, what I like about it is it's so unique. There's only a few teams that did this and painted their letters and numbers on the jersey instead of stitching it. Normally, you know, as jersey heads, we like stitching. But in this case, it's not heat pressed. It's painted on like the replicas, but it's obviously much better quality. It's got the, the mesh quality of a game worn jersey. Look at the stitching here for reinforcement. That's not sloppiness. That's what the professionals wore. Jerry West logo. Four different colors on the trim. Just so beautiful. And if you know, obviously, if you've seen the box current jersey they're wearing on the court, uh, you know that it's got that ugly purple here. <laughs> That's for you. That's for you, um, Jersey uh, fucking uh, King, throwback King. <laughs> it's got the purple trim, but it's also got this paneling of alternating colors here along the, 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 the sides. Uh, so that's where that comes from. And uh, let's take a look at the jock tag, double tag here by Champion. It's a size 44. And Milwaukee Bucks plus three, 92-93 season. This is just a beauty here. It's rare that you see uh, this style. I have seen it just a handful of times. And the home white one as well, also very rare. Um, so for that reason, I've got to put it in my top five. Eric Murdoch. Why do I care about Eric Murdoch? Well, um, I like the guy. I like the guy. He's a cool person and I like him as a player. He was a starter for the Bucks when they sucked. He came over to my heat at some point in the mid nineties, early, no, not early mid nineties, I believe. Um, and he had a big shot, a buzzer beater against the Knicks playing for my heat. But other than that, yeah, his career was pretty much forgotten about, but um, steady backup point guard. Like I said, he was a starter for the Bucks, but then he moved on, became a backup point guard um, for a few different teams. Uh, yeah, so he was not a, so special as a player, but um, just a cool guy and cool player. So that's my jersey number four. Um, see all the details on this. Uh, let's move on to number three. Whoa, god damn, that's nice. <laughs> now, before I go into this jersey, I'm just going to say, I don't know if I've said it already, but um, I know some of the guys in this challenge put their favorite jersey design. Um, others just put their favorite a combination, just their favorite jersey overall, taking everything into consideration. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking everything into consideration, the player plus the style, okay? So with that in mind, um, there's no swingmans though, no swingmans and no authentics that can make my top five because I paid a hell of a lot of money for these game-worn jerseys or game-issued, I should say. This one's a game-issued. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's actually not uh, even issued, but it's a pro-cut commemorative collection jersey, which are kind of rare. Um, limited edition, so 
you, you can find it, but it, it, there's not a ton of them. Production, look at that. Only 200 made, I believe. Um, body length plus three. Now, I don't know if that's what it means, only 200 made, to be honest, but it may mean that. Um, from the 93-94 season, this is what he wore. Basically, the only difference between this and a game issued is the tag right here saying commemorative. Like, if I took this off, it would look like a game issued jersey or even a game worn jersey, I, I believe. Unless there's some very minor, you know, differences. Um, but the quality is there. This is a size 50 plus 3, which is what the Chuckster wore during his time in Phoenix. He, he also has some that are a size 52. So I like the fact that this one was a 50. Fits me a little better, even though it does, you know, the length is like a dress on me. But hey, oh, well. Uh, you, this is a big fireball jersey. Wow, just wow! Look at the look at that orange pop on the purple. Um, it's just beautiful. Sublimated everything, sublimated into the jersey, right into the mesh. So it's not painted on. It's not screen printed. It's not heat pressed. It's fucking sublimated in there. It's dyed in there, guys. And then you've got the Suns, nicely double-stitched on there. And the number, Barkley 34. So, like I said, this was a very... Um, this was an expensive jersey, as are all the jerseys in my top five. I'm not just putting them because they're expensive, although that is a big reason. <laughs> I mean, why? how could I have lower jerseys on the totem pole, so to speak, be in my top five over these? These are sick designs. I showed you the Clippers jersey at number five. That wasn't such a sick design, but it's just a sick jersey. The fact that it's from the bubble, game worn. The other four jerseys are absolute sick designs. The Bucks at number four, now in Suns at number three. NBA logo. Take a look up close at the stitching here and the trim. Um, so yeah, look at the back. Got Barkley. And let's go to number um, number two now. Now this one, shout out to Mr. Throwback. It's a custom, but it's going to be pretty damn hard to find one of these that's not a custom. And that'll fit me. <laughs> and that will not. Um, I mean, this kind of broke the bank, but <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a crazy nut. All right, guys. I, I'm not... Um, I'm just a poor teacher. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't never, I, I, I never mind. <laughs> I don't even want to throw out any names of someone on YouTube who may, um, have a warehouse of jerseys. I mean, that's not me. You can see what I, what I do have. It's, it's a pretty damn good amount, but so, you know. Uh, but it's nothing like, that's all. <laughs> now, some of them from here on, from that marker there on, are game, game issued or game worn. But I got a lot of authentics, some swingmans, and a few replicas. But um, yeah, nothing like a warehouse, guys. I don't live in a sports authority or... <laughs> uh, this is my walk-in closet that I only recently acquired, literally acquired, by purchasing my apartment. My, my little one bedroom in New York City. Um, and I was only able to purchase that. Yeah, I'm getting it to... Uh, oh, Gamer Magic Shorts. Got to do a review on that. <laughs> I was only recently able to acquire that um, because of some funds that I happened to um, acquire uh, due to an uh, unfortunate uh, health issue that I had. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I went ahead and sued the hospital and, you know, I get, got at least, you know, I didn't get what I deserved, but at least I got something to show for it, I guess. Um, but in any case, guys, let's finish up with this <laughs> top five. And just I just I just threw that in there to let you know that uh, I'm a little bit of a crazy nut um, in terms of like. I, I did spend a lot of money on, on, on the jerseys in this top five. But um, like I said, I have my means 
of course it's legal, <laughs> but I had my means to doing so. I Should I have spent that much money? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have to admit that. <laughs> I had the only reason. It's on credit, guys. It's on credit. It's not like I'm fucking paying cash for this shit. Come on. But that being said, I did just purchase my apartment and I was able to do so in part because I had a beautiful credit. I do pay my shit. I do pay my shit. So I'm not, <laughs> I pay more, I, 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 I put, I rack up, you know, more, more, um, expenses than I should, but at least I've, I've always been able to pay everything off. So I haven't ended up on the streets yet. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. I mean, obviously, if some people are on the streets, but you know what I mean. It's funny that someone could actually end up on the streets just from fucking collecting jerseys. That's that, that that'd be ridiculous. Honestly, I, I think I'm, I don't know if anyone's that crazy. I know people are addicted to drugs and we joke about like being a crack addict. Uh, if you're in the Jersey community, uh, resurrection shout out to you. You know, we've been joking about that, how we, you know, uh, Mighty Fan, what up, son? <laughs> Yo, go grab a hoagie, boy. But a uh, vegetarian, that is. But, <laughs> but yeah, I know how you like him. I know how you like him. But anyway, uh, look at this jersey. Get that shiny silver in the collar and on the arm trim. Um, the dark forest green. It's just beautiful. Just like the last jersey, sublimated in. And you got that white fading into purple. Oof. Got the antlers. The whole buck is um, fading up from the bottom. I always love this jersey. And it's sublimated in, guys. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. There we go. Nice little shot of the face. Maybe I'll make that my, what, what, what what's it called? Anyway, uh, whoa, look at how shiny that is. Triple stitched, one, two, three, four, quadruple stitched, my bad. <laughs> Purple, silver, green, white, quadruple stitched numbers. Bada bing, bada boom, bitch. <laughs> this is um, a custom, but it's it's legit. It's, it was made from a game issued jersey, a blank, uh, 48 plus two. Um, although it fits bigger than that, but 97, 98, 1997, 98, one season earlier, it would have been a uh, gold logo, baby, <laughs> uh, made by starter for all you real Jersey heads out there who have a lot of knowledge. I believe this was also made in champion prior to being made by starter. So the champion one is even more valuable and harder to come by, but both very, very nice. Jesus Shuttlesworth, Ray Allen, just single stitched on there. Don't know why they did that. Just kidding. <laughs> it's all good. Quadruple stitched again for the 34 on the back. All right. And now it's time for my number one jersey. Bada bing. Bada boom. Reggie Miller. Miller time. And I'm not talking about beer. Uh, oof. Man, that's nice. Let's start with the collar and how that... The Hornets also had this type. And then the Knicks at some point where it goes underneath, it crosses over. That's nice. Beautiful. Beautiful work there. Pinstripe. I know I'm I'm a sucker for a pinstripe. Um, just like the Orlando Magic and Chicago Bulls one used to have in the day. Only a few teams have done it. And this is one of them. Just so beautiful. Home White. He was wearing this one when he pushed off Jordan and hit that three. Yeah, baby, in the playoffs. <laughs> this one made by Puma. Love the size and how this one fits. It's a 46 plus two. From the 99-2000 season. Has all the tagging to be a game-worn jersey. I'm sure it's probably not, but it's game-issued. Um, you know, if it's worn, you know, it'd just be an astronomical price. 
Again, these jerseys that I'm showing are super expensive, but when I say astronomical, I mean like, just like, I mean, what I paid for each of these, I'm sure most people would consider astronomical, but I mean really fucking astronomical. <laughs> if this guy, if it actually came off his fucking back. So that being said, uh, let's keep going here. A yellow side trim, really, really nice here. All right, and let's take a look at the back. Miller, double stitched with the navy and gold. This guy, just like Kobe, only played for one franchise, just like Tim Duncan and Manu, Udonis Haslam. <laughs> um, shout out to Mr. 305, but yeah. Um, this is my number one jersey, guys. And like I said, it's a combination. I'm making it number one on the account of Miller being one of my favorite players of all time. As I was not a Jordan fan. I was a Heat fan, so I always was like, damn, my Heat are never going to get to the Eastern Finals. Because Jordan's in the league. And he, I mean, he stopped these guys almost every time, too, except for they did make it one year. But I think that was later on, after Jordan was like on the Wizards or something. They made it to, to and then they got beat down by the Lakers. But, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys. This was just... I, I, I'm, I, I'm choosing this as my number one jersey on account of the player plus the design of the jersey. It's a little bit plain, but those pinstripes make it. They make it special. Uh, if I had to only keep one jersey in my entire collection, I'm actually not sure it would be this one. Just because I'm a Heat fan, but I mean, first and foremost, right? So I might probably pick my Alonzo morning jersey, but it's just that, you know, if I have to choose the top jersey in terms of value, plus just how much heat it brings, how much fire, how much fire... All right, this is my pick. So uh, one more time, shout out to Nostalgia motherfucking boy. What up, boy? <laughs> for igniting this challenge for the, the common man. I'm just coming off the bench right now in the Jersey game. I'm no Wilt. I'm no Wilt the Stilt. I'm no King Leonidas. I'm no resurrection, resur re 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 John Cena erection. Um, I'm just coming off the bench. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even PJ Tucker. Okay, I'm, I'm a six man. I'm Tyler Hero, boy. I'm a bucket. So, um, yeah, guys, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this shit, and look forward to more videos from me. Because I ain't going to stop. And, uh, yeah, look forward to, uh, I got a collab coming out um, with uh, Bay Area. So look forward to that. Yeah, we got something in the works. Because, cause, you know, not everyone wants to collab with me. But that that's all fine and, and dandy. Because at the end of the day, I got me, baby. <laughs> and if I want to collab with you, I'm going to seek you out. I'm going to seek those, those real ones. I'm going to seek them out. I'm going to collab with uh, someone who uh, wants to do it and whose style kind of matches with uh, in line with uh, my, my style. So look forward to that, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm just fucking around with you with uh, you know, how I talk. I make, make jokes and the voices I do and shit. But um, for real, this is how I actually talk. But... <laughs> And I'll see you in my next fucking video. Hopefully you guys will post your top five. Let me know in the comments which ones, if you agree with my five, which ones you think I left out. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. This video ain't over. One more honorable mention. This is my honorable mention right here, guys. I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to just show it to you. It's a no-name player, but again, he has a connection with my Heat franchise. He currently announces the games for the Heat. Mr. John Crotty, he did play at one point for my Heat backup point guard. He was a backup point guard his whole career. 
twice on the jazz. All right. This is the, the colorway and the design. Again, the sublimation with all the layers of stitching. It's just, I know King and Leonidas showed this one and the difference between like the authentic and the game, the gamer um, is this back part is sublimated. I think it's a little bit nicer, but it's pretty close. The, the authentic does a good job, but I think everything is sublimated. If I'm not mistaken, um, I'm pretty sure that this is an upgrade in terms of uh, what they actually stitch and what they have in the background and what's sublimated. Uh, it's a little bit sort of um, an upgrade from the authentic. I'm not criticizing the authentic. I'm just saying, I'm just letting you guys know if if you wanted to know the difference. Um, so that's it, guys. That's it. And at last, I'll see you in the next video.